Hey everyone, so this is my recipe for bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. And this video is brought to you by Kitchenetics. They have a wide range of wonderful bakeware that I use every day. So you're going to want to start out with six jalapenos that you're going to have and core. That just means getting rid of all the seeds. And I prefer to do this with gloves, but it's all personal preference. And you can either use a spoon to scoop out the cores, or you can use your hands. Both of them work really well. I opted for the spoon method because I don't like my jalapenos to be particularly hot. And that white membrane is actually what holds most of the capsaicin and that's what gives peppers their heat. As you can tell, there's a little bit of prep work for this recipe, but it's well worth it, and it goes by pretty fast. Now that all that's done, we're going to clean up our workspace just a little bit and then we're going to move on to the filling. In a medium sized bowl, we're going to add one 8 ounce package of cream cheese and I had to microwave mine because it came out of the freezer. Then we're going to add one cup of cheddar jack cheese as well as one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of Italian herbs. A pinch of salt some fresh cracked pepper, and then mix it all up. Set that off to the side real quick while you grab your baking pan if you choose to bake them. You can smoke them, but I was unfortunately out of pellets. <laughs> So you would want to line your baking pan with parchment paper and a wire rack. Then pull out 12 slices of bacon. Oh, oh, dang it, hold on. I have a freshly sharpened knife, let's see if that helps. And yay! Alright, so go ahead and remove it from the packaging and set it on the cutting board. And now we're going to fill each of the halved peppers with about two tablespoons of the filling and then wrap it in bacon. And you can use a toothpick if they don't quite seem to want to stick. I use thin sliced bacon which tends to form more easily to the peppers. If you have, oh no, oh dang it. <sighs> no, no one saw that, right? Of course not. And just. Carry on as usual. Just continue wrapping the rest of your peppers and give that one a good scolding because it was not being very nice. And the package of bacon that I bought actually had 14 slices instead of 12, so the last two lucky peppers got two slices of bacon all to themselves. But I mean, it's bacon, so the more the merrier. <laughs> Now we're going to want to bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes or smoke them at 275 for an hour. And there you have it, a delicious appetizer for barbecues, get-togethers, potlucks, or honestly any occasion.